Uh, one of the one of the other points of discussion that I want to hit is a dis- is something that you and I have disagreed about in the past, and that's about king making. Ah, yes. About, about it's, it's, th- to me, it's more about it's not about king making, but it's about the retributive strike uh, or. Those are, yeah, to my mind, those are different. Um, Mm -hmm. One is less bad than the other. I, you know, so in order to talk about kingmaking, you have to have the conversation about like our, first of all, kingmaking is technically a discussion about what happens outside the game. It's it's a form of concession and it's happening at the boundary between what is in the game and what is outside the game. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the time we don't have good rules, expectations around what's happening you know, outside the game. Um, Mm -hmm. I I can't use the term meta game here because it's so overloaded, but you can, you know, um, you need to ask yourself, for example, are we playing one game or are we playing a series of games? Is it Mm -hmm. reasonable to say you, you said you wouldn't attack me last game and then you did. So I'm going to punish you in this game. Most people would say, eh, that's starting to get suspect, but you know, we'll see how it's the way blood feuds start. At the same time, lots of people, you know, a lot of people sort of uh, intrinsically will uh, will recognize that keeping your word within a game is usually good value. And so that sort of implies that there is continuity of trust from game to game, you know, or of reputation. I will I will absolutely never go back on a deal that I make that I made in the game. I think that the cost is just well, one, I don't want to be that person. And two, I, the cost is just way too high. If when you screw people over like that, they remember, and payback payback continues to come. It's true, even if they're not consciously paying back, they will. At the same time, if you and I sat down and played poker, and there was you know we had an eight person table of you know uh, mm-hmm. of no limit hold, and we were playing all the rest of it, um, and you said to, you know uh, you said to me, if I bet, will you just call? And I said, yeah, sure, I'm just going to call. If you bet, I am going to have no compunction whatsoever about raising you into the ground. Huh. You know, I, I am going to take that bet that you've made and I'm going to re-raise and I'm going to push you out of that hand. Because I don't, like, there's just an accepted level of what is a binding deal at a poker table. Magic doesn't have a really good um, sort of set of cultural mores around that outside the mm-hmm. game. Two that I think are very valuable. The first is, are we playing one game or, or you know, is it continuity? Mm-hmm. The second is, if there's four of us playing, by default, I think most people would say that first place is the winner, everybody else loses. If you are sure, if you are playing in a place instead where you think, where you say, or you all agree, first place is the fir- is the winner. Second place is better than third place. Third place is better than fourth place. Mm-hmm. Um, then that sort of changes the dynamics for kingmaking again, where you sort of say, uh, well, I'm going to take this person out so that I'm in second, even though I, you know, I'm then going to lose to you because second is better than third. Mm-hmm. But if I have, if you don't have that kind of expectation, if you don't clearly sort of establish that first is better than second, second is better than third, third is better than fourth, um, and that people are expected to play to that goal, then if I've worked hard to sort of set up something where, you know, we're all kind of jostling to try and kill all of our opponents and be able to survive. That is, you know, implicitly throughout the game, it's one of the things that makes multiplayer games more interesting is that implication that dying is bad and you have to try and win without dying. Um, Kingmaker, to me, runs contrary to that expectation. By Kingmaker, for for people who don't know, I'm basically saying... um, where I, I as a third player, decide between A winning and B winning, but I, I'm, I have no choice of me winning. I'm going out, but I can tell mm-hmm. the difference between I can make Sheldon win or I can make Toby win. Um, you know, uh, Toby's my family, so obviously I'm going to help Toby more than Sheldon, right? <laughs> I think that would leave a bad taste, taste in most people's mouths. So um, I think that... But the, yeah, the, flip, the flip side of that is is I, I'm not going to be able to win, uh, but Toby is the one that's knocking me out of this game. So w- what's what's reasonable vengeance for me to take on him there? Yes, like, that I it- think is very fair. I, I, that, that's, I think you said earlier, the retributive strike. Um, uh-huh. And I think it is very much within the game to say, look, 
you can't kill me without losing, so you shouldn't kill me. Yeah. yeah. All right. That, that if we each have an attacker mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I can, and we each have a lethal attacker and I can remove Toby's creature and I can swing at Toby and I can kill Toby, but then I lose. Mm -hmm. To me, that is poor. Whereas at the same time, if Toby can say, well, you tried to kill me, so I'm going to kill you and then Sheldon wins, that's f totally fair game because it's within the context of the game. You have to try to win without losing. Yeah, there's a. I I think that that sometimes, in in my mind, that well, if I'm I'm going to lose here, there's like you know one person has been eliminated and there's two people left and there's no way that I'm going to beat either of them, but I can take one of them out. If what what my mind goes through is well, you know. I can't win, but at least I can get a little blood on my hands. Right. And so that's where I think this is this is what I was trying to explain or what I was trying to talk about with um, with establish the, the operating context before the game. Is it about, you know, do you get one point for each player you eliminate? OK, yeah, absolutely. Do that. Get, get your win while you can. Right. Um, but if it's uh, if it's first place or nothing. Then mm -hmm. I, you know, and that's what people are building towards, and that's what people are trying to play towards. Then Kingmaker is is unseemingly, and if it's first, second, third, fourth, then you know the rules are different. So it's basically just a question of, to me, can I, you know, can I kill someone? Can I can uh -huh. I demonstrate some ability? Um, doesn't factor into the my expectations for what we're trying to play towards. If it is, yeah, that's fine, and we can have that conversation. Um, any time. Um, well, yeah, the, the sort of follow-on question to what you had to say there is, well, what happens if if we don't really care who wins the game, right? I mean, you know, we're, we're in the game and we want to win. We want our side to, to win. But in the end, you know, when the four of us get together and play, do we really care who won the game in the end? After the game is over? No. I would say there's this kind of like weird sort of split second moment where it matters that someone won and then split second later, it doesn't matter anymore. But that is, mm -hmm. that's the asymptote that we're all working towards. That's the, um, you know, that's, that's the goal, even if the goal doesn't matter after it's passed. Um, it's now true. there is something to be said for, uh, for deciding that the game needs to end. Um, sure. like, Hey, we've been playing for four hours. We all need to go <laughs> right. to sleep. Um, right. But I would rather that we all just say, okay, this game needs to end. Let's uh, let's go to overtime. Let's have some rules where we say, hey, does everybody agree that we're now in the overtime rules? And overtime rules are, who you know, uh, anybody who can get a kill gets a point and is a winner. Mm -hmm. And anybody who hasn't had a, you know, hasn't knocked out another player doesn't win. Or whatever constraints we want to put on. And I think it's fine to sort of to shift, yeah, to shift like that. Um, mm -hmm. but I do think we all start with assumptions that winning the game is the goal or, you know, sure. winning the game in an interesting way is the goal. In, in, an, in an interesting way. I certainly, certainly I would rather lose in an interesting way than win in a boring one. 